I uh, went to a mixture of schools, private and state, um, and did, didn't do very well at either. Um, I, I sort of came to learning uh, later towards the end. Um, and it was really a visit to Cambridge in my last year of school, which was like a sort of uh, epiphany or a sort of conversion to, to working hard. Um, and I, from that moment, just knew that I, I had to try and do everything I could to end up here. I was just fell in love with the place. Um, so I um, turned things around that last year, ended up retaking some, some uh, exams and uh, amazingly managed to sort of squeeze in. Um, and before coming to Cambridge itself, um, I spent a couple of years working, traveling, um, saving up money for university um, and then joined in uh, 26, uh, 2017 maybe, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Difficult, I think uh, probably my main misconception was um, about the faculty and the people within it. Um, I, I think I had a sort of an idea of, there might be a theology type and that might not be me um especially since i had only really come to the subject and to to you know working hard uh, quite recently um and I, I suppose i i i made too many assumptions about what the other people in my year group and in the faculty would be like i was almost immediately realized that i was wrong um the people in my year in theology the amazing spread of personalities characters um, backgrounds, beliefs. Um, There's a really, really wide spectrum um, and realized there absolutely wasn't a type, um, all sorts of people in theology. And um, one of the lovely things about having such a small faculty, which I really think is quite unique to, to the divinity faculty, is um, you all get to know each other very well, very quickly. Um, and so whereas I had friends at other faculties who really had never met any of the other people in the faculty properly or just saw a load of nameless faces at lectures we knew everyone uh, we went to the pub together as a group frequently um and so and, and that was really within the first term so i, I quite quickly realized that there isn't a type and that i was i was wrong <laughs> on that account very difficult um many many things uh my my favorite though uh if i had to choose was um in my second year when i i became really quite involved with student journalism um and i was uh interview editor for a, one of the student papers and I got to choose who I interviewed and I interviewed my favourite author uh, Robert McFarlane in the uh, grounds of Manual College and uh, it was just yeah it was fantastic it was a lovely guy and um, it was it was a sort of you know, ambition to try and meet him let alone have a two hour long conversation with him so I really enjoyed that. I think the most important thing um, which other people appreciate too is uh, a certain mindset um, it really teaches you to think in a certain way but also to solve problems in a, in a particular way too. And really the essence of any humanities degree is becoming an excellent researcher and problem solver, which is applicable to basically every job uh, uh, you can think of. Um, and so that mindset has, or that ability to solve problems has uh, proved invaluable. Um, and uh, I, as I say, there's sort of, I, I can apply it to almost anything, particularly in the, the field I'm going into now, which is, you know, the, the content is very different, obviously, I'm now studying laws um, and, and having legal problems, but that same process of being able to sit down, read through a large amount of uh, documents, condense it down into something and produce a practical solution is, is exactly the same as I was doing for, throughout my undergrad. Well, there's really uh, no substitute for a genuine interest in the subject. Um, my advice would be to have a look through the sort of topics that are studied in the undergrad in the first year but also in the, the other years um, and without forcing anything just really consider what what strikes you as interesting or fascinating for me it was it was always philosophy um, and then maybe pick a couple of thinkers or, or problems within that and just dive into them as soon as possible um, not only is that a very good motivator for um, studying at a level when it can these subjects can sometimes seem dry when at university they suddenly become quite real and raw um, but also at, at, at application and interview stage um, when you speak to lecturers and, and um, department heads and, and people in colleges doing the interviews and, and looking at the applications what they're really all looking for is is this electricity of, of, of genuine interest um, so the sooner you can you can foster that really the better that would definitely be my my advice. Absolutely, there's there's no no question about that. Um, the courses were were incredible. Um, 
and an amazing amount of flexibility within them. I, I essentially managed to carve out a philosophy degree with a smattering of Islam and, and English literature. Um, the modules were all, you know, very interesting and well curated, especially in third year for philosophy, they became quite uh, surprisingly radical. Um, uh, and the the lecturers and supervisors were without fail all amazingly supportive and um, interesting and, and just actually very nice people. Um, and I, this this isn't I know uh, a view unique to me. All of the people I studied with uh, without fail loved the subject and loved the faculty. Um, and I was very much also uh, a lover of it. So I would absolutely do feel lazy again. Yes.